Tin bomb. No, wait, can I craft it? The best way to destroy uh, any kind of monster's nest. What? There are nests? Didn't even know that this such thing exists. Hey, sure, guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Dark Days. So first of all, I just wanted to say thanks for enjoying these Dark Days videos because you keep leaving a lot of and a lot of nice, positive comments about this game and also you're smashing likes on these videos. And basically, I keep getting daily comments from you guys asking to make more Dark Days videos. So here we go. You asked for it and there is a third episode of Dark Days. So if you want another one, you know what to do. Smash the like button on the video and thank you so much for all your support. So right now, we're going to go outside side and uh, from the previous video if I remember correctly you do get a lot more experience if you're just chopping down wood so that's what we are gonna do here wait am I smiling here or I don't get it <laughs> whatever so I need to definitely level up because I'm only level seven and in order to assemble here my chopper because for those who didn't know in this game you can assemble here a chopper you can have here like a race car you can have here like this hammer truck at the same time you can assemble your helicopter and uh, wait and yeah, there's this prawn suit or whatever that thing is. So for those who do not know, I still need only eight spark plugs and we can find them in the forest. But in order to get them, I need to get a crowbar. But I do not have this crowbar because when we go here to the crafting menu, I need to be level 14 to craft it. And I'm not yet level 14. But at the same time, it's pretty easy to go and level up here because I had no idea that from chopping down trees, you're going to get way more experience. And again, at the same time, I would like to go and introduce you more to this game for those who just, let's say, opened up the video. So this game is going to have a gas pump this game is gonna have a bunker then there is another bunker uh, then this game is gonna have a silo then there is an abandoned mine then there is an army base and a spur of the perished and at the same time there are some bases that you can raid so as you can see this game has a lot of and a lot of stuff to offer here also some of you have told me that maybe developers have abandoned this game but again i did not find any confirmation about it and who knows if that's truth or not but right now i'm gonna try to maybe chop down a little bit of the trees here wait is that gonna work uh, yes i do have here my shift so we're gonna try to chop down here some trees and as you can see the tree and chopping down animation here is really weird but we are getting here like literally 40 experience when you get 40 experience just from fighting these zombies. -zom. so i'm gonna try to get to the chest because in order to open up here these chests you don't have to Oh, you said that you can somehow switch weapons to fight faster. Is that really the truth? Uh, I would like to know how can I spam here the melee weapon. So right now my guy does not auto attack because in the past for some reason he he was auto attacking. But you said that just relaunch the game and it should stop. I guess we relaunch the game so it stopped. Okay, so I'm going to try to take a hammer instead of this one. Wait, and how do I heal on F? No, okay, so with these thingies, I'm just gonna switch my weapons. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna get to this chest here right now. I'm gonna try to fight this weak mutant. And I'm gonna try to do like this. Okay, so I'm getting like that. I'm getting here like this. And then I'm doing here. I'm not sure if that even works. If that even worked, what have I done here? But uh, maybe my character is gonna fight a little bit faster. I don't know. Here we go. Let's take the patches. Wait, why do I keep opening it up? Oh, because I click on this button. Okay, so now my character is gonna open up a chest. And while he's opening it up, okay, we're gonna open it up. And then I'm gonna open up the menu. I wanna see on what level will I be able to craft those items. Look at this. Just in one simple chest, we're gonna get here a lot of and a lot of cool items. I'm gonna switch here my hatchet. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water we're gonna take here the gold bar can i yes indeed we can change this and this gives me like a four protection let's try to equip this thing and this thing gives me only two protection but it has more durability so i think i should definitely you know what we're gonna take these two armors and after that one ends we're gonna take another one so here we're gonna get like crude oil let's take that and also you gave me another epic tip is that as soon as you find some sort of item that gives you energy like an energy bar or coffee here or something you should drink it asap because this energy can stack up up to like 200 or something so as you can see we have now 404 energy i ate like that one energy bar at the base and uh wait what if i just set my character on auto wait i don't know wait you know what maybe the, it's not really that slow i don't know whatever i have no idea how to do this spam uh, weapon switching attack thingy maybe we're gonna figure it out okay so let's take a little bit more rope i keep opening that thingy up okay so maybe oh it does restore my health a little bit when i'm drinking that berry tea but it's still not that much oh and i wanted to see on what level i'll be able to craft my bandages so i think they aren't coming up anytime soon wait i already scrolled to the very down i think they're gonna come up a bit faster okay tin bomb no wait can i craft it the best way to destroy uh, any kind of monster's nest what there are nests didn't even know that this such thing exists so maybe one day i'd love to find that and how to use that tin bomb i mean okay so bandages are gonna unlock on level nine so definitely that 
that's what we are gonna do. But okay, right now, let's start chopping down some more trees. Okay, so my character is gonna chop it down on this weird, weird angle. We're gonna get some more experience. We're, and while my guy is gonna chop down this tree, let's go here to the menu and let's get some more gold. We're gonna get a little bit of more rewards and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so there's the calendar. Do damage. We have to do 20, uh, 8,000 damage, collect 50 berries and collect 40 stones. So maybe we're gonna do this and at the same time, we're gonna get some more rewards, a little bit of more experience. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the chopper that I was talking about, guys. But in order to open it up, I need to have a crowbar and I do not have it. So some of you told me that I made a mistake and I shouldn't have done it. Okay, so maybe like that it's better. Oh yeah, you can actually switch it between. I kind of see, guys, what you told me. So you fight with one weapon. As soon as the animation is done, you switch to another one and it should be kind of faster. Maybe, I don't know. Wait, did I take the gold bar? Probably my character just did it. Uh, I mean, I'm maybe gonna pick that up. Uh, okay, so this is just grass. These are not berries. And, uh, okay, so that's that. How do I... I still need to do 8,000 damage, but that's seriously a lot of damage. I need to collect more berries and more stones. Uh, no, 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 don't open it up. It's so weird. Uh, because for those who don't know, I'm playing this game on computer. And for those who are interested, how can you play any mobile game on computer? Just go on Google and uh, search Android emulator. And you'll be able to find a lot of information about it. Myself right now, I'm using BlueStacks. Uh, also in the past, I use Nox. And at the same time, all these emulators are kind of the same. So if you have a computer, you'll be able to play basically any game. You'll be able to uh, emulate Android on your computer. And you'll be able to play any game you want. Okay, so we're going to pick up, uh, okay, the grass, the berries as it gives, like that experience as well. And that's kind of a lot. Okay, so maybe I'll try to chop down here this tree. Nobody's attacking me. Pretty cool that these zomzoms have a pretty uh, small range over here. So we are level 7. Need to go get a little bit of wood at the same time. So probably we're going to get here 40 experience as well just from the stones. Uh, wait, one more hit. Okay, so still more. Okay, so congratulations, level 8 already. I remember I've spent like here an hour playing and I couldn't get it. Okay, so at level 8, what did I unlock? Okay, so I unlocked a zip gun. Finally, we can craft our zip gun. Iron axe, helpful in battle, not feeling uh, trees. Oh, we can craft the iron axe ourselves now to be able to uh, fight. They're good at hacking enemies, but not so good at collecting resources. Okay, so when you craft an iron pickaxe, you, you cannot collect resources. That's kind of weird if you ask me. That's seriously a weird thing. But okay, so we are at level 8. And I think the fastest way to level up is going to be just by chopping down trees. Wait, did I get something? Because my guy said something there. Okay, uh, wood. Maybe just said, okay, wood experience, wild bird egg. What? We're getting wild bird eggs. Uh, these days, it ain't easy to find eggs. You can eat them raw. But it's better to cook an omelet on the fire. Restores 5 HP to thirst points and blah, blah. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We can get some epic stuff here. And I've gotten another reward here. Okay, so let's get a little bit of more gold. And let's sort of chop down here a couple of more trees. And maybe I'm going to switch this location to another one. Because, yeah, we're almost at level 9. It's so easy to level up. Wish I knew this thing earlier. Because last time, I've seriously grinded, like I said, for a couple of hours. Uh, maybe for an hour or something and I just barely leveled up to level 7 and a lot of you told me that hey Sark I played this game for like a couple of minutes and I'm already higher level than you and I'm like how is that possible but then you're leaving this location no 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 I don't want to go there thanks very much oh this is gonna be the dude okay so we're gonna fight this this figured mutant can you attack him for some reason okay so we're gonna switch it now to the hammer oh yeah yeah, yeah. indeed I have to keep switching them up and this way I'll be able to fight faster okay so that works seriously switching weapons Kind of works. Okay, so let's add... No, no, no. Let's take it all. And I do have here a zip gun, right? So I think we're going to use a zip gun on this... Whatever that's going to be. A lurker, probably. So yeah, we're going to use our zip gun now on the lurker. Yes, indeed. Hopefully it's going to... Oh, wait. Can I reload it? Oh, no. It only has three thingies. Uh, here we go. One headshot. Another headshot. We're going to just move away. Another headshot. Okay, so my dude is just going to reload right now. Another headshot. Another headshot. So I keep getting damaged somehow. Okay, so we just fought here. The lurker was pretty easy peasy if you ask me, but we still got a little bit of damage. Okay, so let's eat this. Let's take... No, not at all. I keep forgetting that we have to take all here. I'm also going to go and chop down here this stone thingy for the sake of experience, for the sake of tasks. And there is going to be one more chest that I will open up. And I need to get those spark plugs. The spark plugs are still common because if I'm going to get to the base, I'll show you because they all have a bit different colors and spark plugs are still common but for some reason i still haven't found them okay so there's this energy thingy and it's gonna give me 15 energy and look at that right now we have 104 and if i'm gonna use it we have 119 so it basically stacked up on top of it so it's pretty cool wait other shoes uh now nah, my old shoes were a bit better so let's equip this and what could i get rid of you know what most likely we're gonna get rid of this armor just so that i can have a little bit more space there is some more berries 
So I'm going to pick up, here we go, guys, the berry just to get some more experience. We're probably going to chop this down. And while my guy is fighting this tree, I mean, when he's chopping it down, I'm going to switch my weapons here. Okay, so that's cool. There is another chopper. Would love to open it up, but we are not... We have literally zero crowbars. I remember I probably got one crowbar from some sort of rewards here because there is like some sort of a season pass or whatever it's called. I'm not even sure where to get it, how to open it all up. Do I go to the menu? Well, I have no idea where to find that season pass here right now. I don't think that it's gone. Okay, we fought just this figure. We didn't, oh, and they give only 20 experience, not even 40. That's why I think it's kind of unbalanced. I think Zamzam should be giving you a little bit more experience than just a 20 experience because a simple tree gives you like literally 40 XP. But at the same time, it's easier to level up if you do not want to fight. And uh, if I'll be safe. Okay, so we're going to chop down one more tree just literally for the sake of experience. And as you can see, I cannot open up. Wait, who's attacking me? Okay, this guy. And we are already level nine. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're going to fight this and like that, baby boom we're gonna open the dude up we're gonna get some more and if i'm gonna try to open up this chopper it says that crowbar required so that's what i was uh, talking about guys let's get here one more stone and i think i'm gonna mine this thingy and also there are a couple of berries i would love to go and pick up those berries just for the sake of experience okay so we have to hold this pickaxe button just to get like our 40 experience how many more i need to extra 10 extra stones and like 17 extra berries so that's what we are going to do again. The wrong button. <laughs> Can you please stop messing it up? Okay, so let's pick up my berries here. How many experience we're going to get? Okay, 10 experience, but three berries. I think we're going to fight, fight this weak mutant. And also, for those wondering, you cannot sneak behind those zamzams for some reason. That's kind of weird. Weapon broke. But again, having two weapons and switching between them it definitely is a bit faster. So I still need 11 berries and 10 more stones. So... Uh, I see another berry over there. Should have just rush here like that. I mean, these Zamzams are super easy. We're going to pick up. Here we go. One more berry. I don't think I'm going to die here. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to exit the zone right now because this Zamzam most likely is just going to keep following me. But uh, we kind of cleared this area completely. There is nothing much I can find there. So there is an orange zone. But again, orange zones are kind of harder. So we're just going to run to this uh, Grim Foothills place. Oh, and I just uh, unlocked a new level. So let's see what kind of things I can craft here right now. Oh, we can craft bandages, dude. This is awesome. And I have no available slots. But yeah, after that, at level 10, we'll be able to craft these things at level 11, 12, 13. And at level 14, we're going to unlock finally our crowbar. I'm not sure if today we'll be able to reach level 14. But I don't know. We'll see if it's possible, then it's possible. So I'm still going to go get a little bit of more stones. My inventory is kind of full here, but it's... Oh, and I'm hungry. First, of, first, It's the first time when I see this icon up the top that my dude is hungry. So I don't even know what we're going to feed for him. Oh, we have a lot of berries, dude. So we're going to literally just chug all these berries down. And my guy is like, wow, thank you so much. I've never been fuller in my life. I just ate 15 berries. It is so epic. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to still chop down some more trees. I don't care that we don't have maybe enough space in our inventory or something. I'm just going to probably pick up everything that I see on my way just so that okay so one more zamzam is going to attack me okay now let's fight this weak mutant okay we've done just 16 damage for some reason without any animation at all and one more 16 damage here go weak mutant is gonna go to sleep uh, we're gonna take all of this I have here one bandage we're gonna heal up ourselves a little bit and uh my dude is going to chop down this entire stone thing. And maybe I'm going to have enough stones. Is that enough? Or do I need to grind a bit more? Okay, so two more stones. And we'll see if I'm going to get closer to getting some sort of a reward there. Maybe one of those rewards is going to be a crowbar. Kind of lazy to check if it's possible to get a crowbar from rewards. But whatever. Okay, so let's get this another mine thingy. Okay, whatever. We're going to fight this weak mutant. Okay, another attack. Wish I had another melee weapon. This way I would be able to just switch uh, between them and fight faster. So that was kind of an epic tip. So thank you guys for sharing that tip with me. Okay, so let's try to destroy this. And uh, I have enough kind of stuff. Maybe I should bring them back to the base. Okay, so I've gotten... T uh, rewards are completed. I've gotten some more stuff now. Collect berries and collect grasses. Okay, so we need to collect 20 grass now. I think I've seen some grass... Uh, no available slots. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, so I think I have some seeds to grow stuff. I have some grass to do my stuff. I mean, I've got some ropes, but I don't know where will I be able to use those ropes. I've got wood. I literally have kind of everything here, but I have one extra slot. I just noticed this. So probably we're going to put here a zip gun. Who cares? So this way I'm going to pick out one more berry. Did I, did I have enough berries? I still need five extra. Oh, this is the survival guy. That's what I was talking about. So is there a crowbar reward? So I'm just going to quickly scroll through this and see 
if there is going to be a crowbar reward kill reborn hybrids no we don't care about that so kind of simple rewards really just simple experience meat like and nothing really no weapons here wait seriously there is no way i'll be able to get a crowbar there's a lot of rewards dude make zip guns and no crowbar seriously so we're not gonna get a single crowbar from that whatever but we got something into our mail oh canned goods awesome just awesome i still need to reach level 14 anyway so regardless of whatever i get i need to grind for another level there's that weak mutant I mean, we can do like 8,000 damage, but I can avoid it. As we as we all saw, rewards there are kind of poopy, so not a big deal. Uh, we're going to fight now with one more here, weak mutant. I think I could exit. Okay, so if you dodge it, he's not doing here for you too much damage. I'm not sure if that works. Like, oh, another disfigured mutant. He just came behind me, totally did not see him. Okay, so let's say if I'm going to attack him and then I run away. Okay, so he still damages me, even if I, let's say, kind of dodge him, so... Yes, just like in Last Day on Earth. Okay, whatever. So, can you please fight a bit faster, mate? I would appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna use one bandage just to heal up ourselves. Let's take all of it. I have a little bit of berries. We're gonna eat them up. And I do want to open up this chest because maybe inside of the chest we're gonna get a little bit of cool clothes. Uh, oh, you know what? Should I use the zip gun? Probably not really. But I mean, the zip gun does a lot of damage if you land these headshots properly. At least for those disfigured mutants because i mean the weak mutant is kind of easy to fight just with your simple club here i think i'm using here reinforced club if i'm not mistaken so uh, upgraded club yeah uh, they're pretty easy to fight them with upgraded clubs but the other mutants are pretty cool to use zip guns on them even though i still feel that i should save zip guns for like lurkers and other stronger peeps there whatever so let's try to get some more stones we're gonna get 40 extra experience and i see that in the left corner i have a present box thingy level 10 already yes baby so use 24 bandages yeah yeah yeah. we're gonna get a little bit of more gold and i'll try to open up here this chest and it looks like nobody's attacking me so that's cool let's see what kind of goods oh no i think the guy just attacked me okay so we're gonna get that back to my zip gun and we're gonna do some more headshots one uh, another headshot, one more headshot. Okay, so my guy's just gonna reload. We're just gonna dodge him here, just like that. Uh, just like that. I'm trying my best to not run away from the zone because, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty close to the border. I could just leave the area and would have to see another loading screen, which is kind of sad. So uh, we're going to reload now my zip gun. Here, go, baby. Let's do this. And let's open up now this chest. And inside, as I said, we're going to get here a cap. We're going to get here some new shoes. Definitely going to pick them up. Going to take this, baby and uh, motorcycle oil and other stuff we're gonna eat everything that i find here quartz sand raw material for glass and bricks so i'm gonna take everything oh no 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 we're not gonna take this i'm just gonna probably most likely take oil i don't think i'll need to take this is it really common most likely it's kind of rare but i don't know if i'll really need this i mean do i need it to craft my crowbars because this is do I need it, like, to craft my Glocks or something? Okay, so I can craft Glocks now, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of these bolts and... and uh, what is this metal? Can you please show me? Uh, lead ingot. I think I'm gonna have enough uh, iron, or at least somehow, but I'm not gonna have enough lead, so I think I should just give up on crafting Glocks. I don't really care about it. Okay, so we're gonna open up this, and while we're doing it, let's get some more rewards from the present thingy. And now we're gonna get a little bit of more stones just because why not just to level up baby so getting more stones also gonna pick up some berries and no available slots obviously somehow i'm not even surprised so you know what we could do we could actually craft bandages right now look at this we can go over here and there are gonna be a bandage case so created another one created baby boom that's very nice we have a little bit more bandages we can put that over here and i think i've gotten some more rewards for extra gold so you are kind of getting a lot of the gold here and even if you're gonna buy like that pass you're gonna get even more gold as they say here you're gonna get 94% more gold, but when you go to the shop, there isn't really many things that you can buy with that gold. Like, you can buy, like, these three axes, uh, which are on this. Oh, we can buy a crowbar, dude! A burglar's best hobby. Dude, we can buy a crowbar for 280 gold. That's what we are gonna do. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. You might be like, hey, Sark, really? Seriously, you can just get this? I want the crowbar. I want the crowbar, and do I want it right now? No, 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 no. We're gonna get back to the base. Hopefully, that deal is not gonna disappear for how long it's gonna stay there. I need to know. I need to know. Where was it? Also, we can buy like 40 bandages for 640 gold okay so it's not that bad and okay so it's still kind of gonna stay here so i'm gonna get out of here now yes i know that i'm leaving the location we're gonna get back to the base and i'm gonna buy that crowbar when i sort out my inventory okay so i'm back at the base let's go buy that crowbar and i was thinking about it wouldn't it be way more awesome if we wouldn't have here to go to the shop to buy stuff but let's say there was a shop in game okay here we go there's the crowbar we've just gotten it check your mail yes indeed mate we're gonna go now back here to my mail we're gonna 
gonna take this crowbar. So let's say there was a location at the base or something, some somewhat of a dealer in Last in Earth Survival. But let's say you go to that dealer and you can see a bunch of merchants and you go to these merchants and you could buy some stuff with gold like that. I mean, it would be still exactly the same concept, except that it would feel a little bit more natural rather than let's say like go uh, going here to the shop and buying like this crowbar because it feels kind of pay to winish, even though I haven't spent a single penny here in the game yet. All this gold was just earned from the tasks and from picking up zombies. But I think it would feel way less pay to winish and way more serious and uh, immersive if there was an actual uh, merchant in the game that we could purchase that crowbar from. I guess you know what I'm trying to say here. So I have a crowbar, but no, 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 we're not going to be wasting that crowbar. So now, wait, do I need to craft here an iron hammer? No, I don't think I'll be able to do this. I'm going to save all my iron for other stuff. So I still want to craft like this upgraded club if I'm going to have enough duct tape. If I don't, then, oh no, I do have enough duct tape, baby. Boom. So let's take my two duct tapes. Okay, so my dude is kind of hungry and I don't have a lot of food besides like this corn. So we're going to plant here some more seeds. I'm going to take here the corn and we have six corns. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to definitely fill a lot my stomach because I'm still hungry, dude. I'm still hungry. So I have here like a stack of wood, right? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try to cook this omelet. So here we go. It started cooking. Uh, I mean, 10 gold for five minutes. You know what? Most likely I'm just wasting here my gold, but I need to do this. I wanted to check it out if it's working. Here we go, baby. Boom. We've eaten a little bit, just gotten some more rewards. Awesome. But I need more food. Hopefully those berries are gonna satisfy my needs in that forest. Okay, so what kind of reward did I get? What is going on? Oh, dude, uh, up to level 12. I don't know what's going on. Wait, claim rewards. What have I gotten? Got it. So I've gotten like only 50 gold. That's it. Where's that 50 gold? Oh, for level 11. At level 12, we're not going to get anything, but at level 13, we're like going to get these things. It's awesome. So let's say if I bought the pass here right now for 12 bucks for 12 euros, because you cannot see this behind my face cam, but here go. There's the pass for like 12 bucks and you could, it's kind of worth it. I mean, you're, it looks like you would get here a lot of and a lot of rewards, but I mean, what Whatever, we've gotten everything that I needed. There is some more stuff in the shop. Wait, uh, what did I get in just here? Okay, platinum, blah, blah, blah. I have some food. I don't think we're gonna die here. I have like basically these uh, two crowbars, not two crowbars, two clubs. Uh, I'm gonna be fine. Bandages, okay, so let's try to build. Okay, so you can seriously just spam build that stuff. It's epic, I love it. I love that we can just spam build the bandages. Now let's go to whatever other forest because I have now a crowbar, so we'll be able to go and grind for my chopper here once again. I'm not sure if we're gonna go to the orange zone and I don't have any pants. Well. Maybe we're gonna find some paints in that stuff. Okay, so where can we get these uh, bolt thingies? So we can find in the simple forest and, or in the orange forest. I mean, well, well, doesn't matter. We're definitely gonna find those spark plugs. I do want to assemble my chopper, even though I do not know what's what it's gonna give for me besides just traveling from one zone to another. And it looks like you do have a lot of energy here. So you definitely have here a bit more energy than in Last Day on Earth Survival. I mean, in Last Day on Earth Survival, like everything is kind of super calculated. Like you have to kind of know the game in order to use your energy here efficiently. But you, oh my goodness, when you switch these weapons, it's so fast but here in this game and we just got into both so in this game it's not really that punishing so let's say if i'm a newcomer i'm still gonna have a lot of energy in last on earth it's kind of not super beginner friendly especially with energy but i mean whatever uh, let's open up here my chopper right now we're using the crowbar i would like to know how much durability do i waste with this crowbar when i'm opening up the chopper maybe not too much because i do know that last time i used my crowbar to literally fight everything so we're gonna get a lot of these things i don't need any chopper wheels i don't need any chopper forks i can get like this crude oil and I can get all of these other things but I'm not going to be picking up these other things because I've already gotten them and for those who do not know it's super easy to get like these chopper not the chopper forks but the chopper gas tanks and chopper wheels it, it, I just literally got in them for my first try so chopper gas tank isn't here as rare as in last Earth survival but that's why you have here more vehicles that you can assemble from what I know in simple forest zones you are assembling like your chopper items and then in higher zones you're getting other stuff okay so let's get my presents here we go let's get a little bit of more gold and now i need to open up here we go this chest baby boom and this is so awesome that you can uh, look at this we're gonna fight the zombies -zom so quickly i'm gonna do one attack just like this switching up my weapon and uh, that's it and headshot wow i got lucky i fought this dude super quickly let's take everything here let's open up the chest maybe i'm gonna be able to find the pants this is literally why i'm opening up that's the only reason why i want to open up this chest maybe we'll get some paints or other cool stuff well i've gotten some 
food, some berries. Let's take care of the crude oil. We're going to exchange this for that. And I don't even have a pickaxe. You know what? We're going to take a pickaxe just for the memes. Maybe it will be useful. So here we go. There's another chopper. Okay, so there is a Zamzam. We're going to fight him. Here we go now. We're going to switch to another weapon. We're going to switch just like that. And we fought him like literally instantly. So switching out weapons here uh, maybe is a bug or something. Maybe it's, it's like kind of underdeveloped, but I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so my dude is going to fight him, but we're going to take like another simple club and it's still awesome. Like, dude, it's epic. Now fighting these Zamzams is a pleasure. Like, you don't have to wait for your guy to stand still, like just a stick until he's going to like get more energy to swing. Once again, you just sweep the weapons. Uh, you just switch the weapons and it works instantly. Whatever. Let's open up the chopper. Here we're going to get another, whatever it's called, the exhaust pipe. I don't need that exhaust pipe. Dude, we have enough exhaust pipes. Let's take some more fuel for the chopper. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of more grass. Yes, indeed, guys. Some more rewards. I still need to most likely more grass. Okay, I got two more grass thingies. We're going to get that. Some more of those. Uh, disfigured mutant. Don't really want to be fighting that dude right now. Maybe we're going to chop down one tree just in case. I mean, we're going to be a higher level really, really soon. But at least right now, it's not really my priority to level up as fast as possible. I will be able to maybe uh, level up of the camera. Okay, so let's do like this. Another attack. Another attack. Another attack. Wait, you can fight multiple web uh, zombies at the same time? Wait, so we just fought one dude. Uh, I'm gonna heal up here. Go Right now, I'm just getting lost here. We're just using all the... Look at that. We're just shredding this disfigured mutant even with the simpler club. Wow. That's awesome. That's seriously great. Okay, so let's take all the patches here. What else can I take from here? Uh, let's take more stuff. And there's gonna be this lurker. I'm not sure if a lurker is gonna trigger on me, but I'm gonna take here a zip gun regardless. I'm gonna heal up and more rewards uh, because I think we reached... Wait, why didn't I get here? Congratulations. Wait, how did they get on level 12? How do I up to level 14? How do I get this experience? I'm only level 10. How does it work? I'm at level 13 here. How do these passes work? I don't understand, honestly, but whatever. I'll try to open up here. The oh, no, Lurker definitely saw me. That's nice that I took my stuff. Okay, so we're going to just attack it. I mean, Lurker isn't that hard, to be honest. Okay, Weak Mutant just attacked me as well. So we're going to fight the Lurker, baby. Uh, we're gonna go here. We go just like that. I'm fine, dude. I'm fine. Everything is under control. I know what I'm doing. And now we're gonna fight like this weak mutant. Most likely I could just use here. We go my simple club just to finish him. And here we go, baby. Everything 100% calculated. Didn't get lost. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Let's eat a little bit of berries, baby. Boom. Let's take all of it. There is going to be my guy. Okay, so we're gonna pick up the stone just for the sake of experience. Some wood. And now we'll open up the chest. And why my dude opens up the chest? Let's go to the mail and what I've gotten here. Uh, some more. Wow, wow, everything is overlaid. Uh, so we've gotten some bandages, pliers, and powder. That's awesome. So inside of this chest, I didn't see a uh, corn. Definitely gonna get corn. Let's get some crude oil. And is there another chopper? I do believe that there was supposed to be maybe a third chopper, or maybe I've opened all of them here already. I did open up two choppers, and most likely I've looted this chopper here already because there isn't many zamzams. Let's pick up that. And oh no, I did not loot this chopper. So this is gonna be third chopper of the area. And keeping my fingers crossed that we are gonna be able to get here at least one more spark plug. I mean, this this would be my first spark plug, and we need eight of them, and haven't gotten a single thing here. So what what is this rubber? I think we should pick up rubber for something else. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up all the berries. We're gonna put that over here, and I think we're gonna exit this zone, and we're gonna go somewhere else because for some reason spark plugs are kind of rare for me. So I have a question for you guys: Are spark plugs? really that rare because for me i cannot find them okay so let's try to scroll over here uh, we are scrolling 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 where are the spark plugs uh, and here we go spark plugs are totally common because as you can see by this white thing spark plugs are super common but so far i haven't seen a single one so i mean those exhaust pipes are more rare but i would think that maybe it's kind of a little bit rigged again i've looted a lot of and a lot of zones but still haven't seen a single spark plug i've looted like uh, the terrifying forest edge the grim food hills and like this freak forest a couple of times already especially like these grown green zones and i still haven't found a single spark plug even though there is a chance to find those spark plugs in those zones and it's not a rare chance so i don't know why i'm so not lucky okay so we are over here now i have to oh no this zone is already a bit harder i forgot about it so i'm gonna try to run around the circle here we should be able to survive i have enough bandages i have here a zip gun so i mean everything is gonna be fine i already see one chopper over there so what i'll do is just go here we go just like that i don't want to trigger that lurker there's going to be another lurker so i'm going to try to get like this weak mutant 
Oh no. Uh, so here we go. Weak Mutant is gonna follow me now. I'm gonna try to fight him here with my simple thingy, but boom, I don't have another one to. Okay, so why it doesn't work, dude? Why it didn't work in the beginning? I don't get it. Whatever, we're gonna just fight him just like that because I don't have another weapon just to fight a bit faster. Congratulations, level 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Who cares? We have this. Now I'm gonna take here a zip gun and we're gonna fight this lurker. Again, lurkers are super easy. I mean, they seemed harder, but whatever. So here we go. We're just gonna... I don't think you can actually even dodge it. Can you dodge it? Yeah, I don't think you can. I, I think I'm just... Trying to... They're just gonna auto-go in your face, so... It doesn't matter. So here we go. Another one, another one. That's it. So I don't think it's even worth it to dodge it. I mean, I was dodging them all the time, but I think from the previous video what I've seen and here right now that you cannot really dodge them. So kind of useless to dodge. Okay, so there is going to be a chopper. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get here any of those spark plugs, but we will 100% see. Let's open up my chopper and inside just a chopper wheel. Okay, so that's sad. That's seriously sad if you ask me. This is the definition of sadness, so... I mean, I don't, I cannot really take another melee weapon, because if some sort of dude will just stand up and attack me for no reason, that will be kinda sad. Okay, so there is a lurker, more lurker. So I think I should just exit this zone as soon as possible. Okay, so there is a car place, right? I mean, and I couldn't open up. Jacket worn out. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so there is a lurker, so most likely I'm gonna exit the zone and I would love to loot the car. I think maybe I looted it only once. And uh, I still want to do it once again. So let's hop inside. I think these zombies are going to re-aggro. And I want to loot the car. So in order to assemble the car, you'll have to go to orange zones. And I do believe that to assemble the hammer truck, you'll have to go to the red zones. But again, I, I was not able to loot any of those places because I did not have crowbar at that time. But now when we have a crowbar, I think we'll be able to loot a lot of and a lot of stuff. Okay, so my jackets, I'm totally here. All I have is just my uh, simple cap here. So I guess that's better than nothing. Okay, so let's loot my car this is gonna be probably my first police car that i have ever looted here in this game and let's see what kind of stuff am i gonna get from it oh a car wheel epic 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 so we're gonna take all of it and i think i'm gonna get rid of the stone just for this car wheel uh is that it i think that's kind of it okay so i've gotten some more rewards yeah yeah try to get the vehicles for my car yeah 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 that's the wheels for my car okay so i think we're gonna exit this place here right now and maybe i'll go back to the base to leave some stuff i'm not sure okay so my crowbar is basically like 50 percent done that is kind of sad if you ask me Oh, and I had that tin bomb thingy in my base. So I want to check it out if I'm not mistaken. I do think that I have that tin bomb. So now we're going to get back to the base and I'll try to assemble here this car. I'm definitely going to put a wheel inside of it. Where is the thingy? Okay, so let's go over here. Maybe boom, we're going to put a wheel wheel. Where is the wheel? So here we go. We have one out of three wheels. We can get batteries, the exhaust pipes, and a lot of other stuff. So I do think like these probably quartz glasses thingies are going to be kind of uh, hard to obtain. And did I get anything for my motorcycle? Probably not. Nah, no, I've gotten seriously nothing. So I want to get back to the base. Going to maybe quickly, quickly, somehow, some way. Wait, how did they run faster? Okay, this is faster. If I double tap... Nah, nah, I don't think my guy runs faster. There is no secret button to run faster. I think no matter what I click... Everything is going to be the same. Okay, so let's add all to this place. And another melee weapon. And I think I'm good to go outside here once again. And I have here that tin bomb. Can I, like, place it in my inventory or something? Uh, best way to destroy any kind of monster nest. Oh, monster nest. And where can I find it? Is it really to find? Is it easy to find? Okay, so I can just make those tin bombs. But why? I still haven't found a single monster nest. Maybe we'll be able to find some of these monster nests inside of the red zone. But I don't have a lot of glocks. I would love to have some glocks to grind there. Also, you told me the grinding bunker is, is kind of uh, worth it. Because after you finish their entire bunker, you're going to get some epic loots. And I still haven't done it. Maybe... We're going to try to do it next time. But now I just want to go, guys, and get some more rewards from these chopper thingies. Okay, so let's try to fight like this simple uh, weak mutant. Okay, so one attack like that. Switching it back. Uh, more damage. More damage. Switching it back. And here we go. Mutant is just resting. He's like, what happened to me? And I'm like, I have no idea, mate. Okay, so let's loot one more chopper. So I think you can loot like six choppers with one crowbar, if I'm not mistaken, because three choppers uh, take like 50% of durability, if I'm not... If yes, finally, one spark plug. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I was searching for, dude. Dude, or maybe car thingy uh, took way more durability. I'm not sure. Okay, so is there another chopper? Yes, indeed, there is, guys. One more chopper. So, oh no, oh no, this mutant just saw me. Okay, so one attack. 
Another attack and one more attack. Okay, so Weak Mutant just went to sleep. We're gonna take all here. We're gonna heal with our bandage and uh, we're gonna fight the rest of the Zamzams. I'm just gonna stay here like that. Okay, so two mutants are attacking me, but again, when we have two melee weapons, it's gonna be super easy. Okay, so like this like this and you can fight two of them at the same time wow that's awesome what's going on sometimes the animation freezes and i'm not sure if my dude attacked it or no to gold and i think this dude did not drop anything yet it didn't drop anything okay let's find one more uh weak mutant here here goes some damage some damage and some more damage weak mutant go to sleep let's take this and let's loot my chopper and maybe inside i'll be lucky enough and i'll get another spark plug so i think you need eight spark plugs and i have only one so seven left because eight minus one is seven Mm -hmm. And we've gotten another one of those motorcycle exhaust pipes. So as you can see, motorcycle exhaust pipe is blue, so it's kind of rare. But I've gotten like three or four of them, but this is only my first uh, spark plug. So I assume that maybe rarity here is kind of switched, maybe kind of rigged, unless you guys already have eight of those spark plugs. And I'm kind of just uh, unlucky here to find them. But I somehow feel that it's rigged, but again... Why do I know? Okay, so let's use here a bandage. We're gonna open up probably maybe... Should I open up that chest? Yeah, maybe I'm gonna get some clothes just for the sake of clothes. Because I'm getting kind of cold here. Not gonna lie. Did I get anything inside? Nope, nothing. One more weak mutant. And we will have to go, guys, and fight this uh, lurker. And I have a feeling that I'll fight the lurker a bit faster just with my weapons. Uh, I don't know why. Because the point is... I get the same damage, uh, or maybe no, I get more damage from Lurker like that. Yeah, I fight it faster, but still not too much. Rewards are available in your mail. I've just gotten 10 bandages. Dude, just for this one Lurker, I finished some sort of task, and I've gotten 10 bandages. That's just beautiful. Okay, so I have 20 bandages. Okay, so another disfigured mutant, just like that, just like that. Please give me some clothes inside of that chest. I would appreciate it. This is so awesome. I said it many times already in this video, but switching up the weapons is amazing okay so let's take the rest of it baby boom and let's loot now the chest baby let's open it up and let's see what kind of goodies are we gonna get inside i see one more chopper over there and one more chest over there so that's what we're gonna do yes some clothes let's equip paints let's equip this let's drink it drink it little bit of water and the way there are new weapons like a new hatchet which i'm gonna switch up and a new pickaxe we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i kind of like it uh, there's a chopper, chopper, chopper. We're gonna definitely open it up. Let's fight the weak mutant. Another attack. So awesome. So awesome when we do it super fast now. Let's take the rest and let's loot one more chopper thingy. Only one spark plug. Like, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? Okay, nothing over here. Nothing around me besides only one more zombie that will block my access to that chest. And we seriously didn't get much stuff from this chopper either wait is this third chopper in this zone probably it is well whatever let's fight one more weak mutant just like that and one more attack we're gonna heal up looting our bad boy and let's loot now the chest please nobody attack me okay that's very nice that these zomzoms are totally dumb dumb and they don't see anything okay let's eat the beans let's eat this and should i equip the clothes yes indeed these clothes have a little bit more durability i've looted that chopper and another weak mutant so i think we're kind of done with this zone obviously we could chop down all of the trees here just to level up faster but as i said we have a crowbar and we maybe will i will level up of the camera guys if you will smash enough likes here on the video because why not so what do i have here in my inventory now i mean not really a lot of cool stuff we've just gotten only one spark plug so uh okay Okay, can't wait to get some more Glocks. I mean, in the shop here right now, if I'm not mistaken, you can get like two Glocks for like four bucks. So maybe that's what I should do just to be able to do Bonker. Maybe you would like me to do the bonker. Hmm. So I highly suggest you checking out this video where I found a new family, but they hate me. Or click on the second card and you'll go to my previous Dark Days video. Or hop over to my channel, go to play this, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.